How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, coming at you guys with a really awesome advanced warfare video. Today, we're going to be using one of the coolest weapons, or I consider it to be one of the coolest weapons in advanced warfare, the Cell 3 Cauterizer Energy Based Fully Automatic Shotgun. It sounds a lot better than it actually is, but if we could try and shoot for 200 likes on this video, that's a pretty, that's a solid goal. I think we can hit it. Please leave a like rating if you do enjoy. If you don't, don't leave a like, but if you do, please go ahead and do so. So today we're actually going to be taking a look at a gameplay from my boy Swag XBL. Check out his link to his channel down in the description below. Go ahead and subscribe to him. Really good friend of mine, has a great channel. Please go sub. Check him out. All right. So this is his gameplay of the Cell 3 Cauterizer Fully Automatic Energy Based Shotgun. It's actually really cool. It may not be the best shotgun we've ever seen in Advanced Warfare, considering most shotguns in Advanced Warfare really aren't that good you know they're not bad but they're definitely not good this is something that we've never seen before you hold it in one hand not that that really makes a difference i think it just makes it look cooler look different than most shotguns because typically you hold them in two hands so i think that looks a little bit cooler so this one at first i thought it would just have a three round magazine which i thought made it kind of bad but then once you actually see gameplay of it or get to use it on your own you realize that it automatically holds 16 shotgun shells which is really really big for a shotgun and most of the time you only need one or two bursts so it actually holds 16 when you slap extended mags on there like swag did you actually do get 24 which is a lot which if swag is using it he's a great player i would definitely suggest you guys to use extended mags it's very good i do like it a lot but i also think something that something good that swag did in this gameplay was he actually played a really smart game mode you know i may consider ground war but that might be too many people to handle definitely if, you, if you're gonna play ground war you probably want to get into a ground war domination with this gun maybe maybe not i feel like this gun i know i actually know deep down that it doesn't have really that much range again it is a shotgun so you're going to need to play a game like hard point maybe even momentum where people are constantly moving around the map to one certain point and you can kind of hang out around that hard point or that hill and rake in a few kills here and there so i would suggest this again in hard point or momentum not not necessarily ground where i thought that in the beginning but then i really thought it through in this video and i was like nah not really that doesn't sound very good so i would suggest you guys to try that try that out another tip that i've learned with the selfie cauterizer is you need to ADS. If you're not ADSing, you're probably going to need to at least put two shells into them, which not you don't really all the time have the most time in the world to do that. You're going to need to try and get your most one-shot kills if you can. You really do. It's going to make a big difference for you guys. You can see even with aiming down sight and having some really good attachments and being really up close to them, being very experienced with this gun, you're still going to get those hit markers, which is a little bit annoying. I do have to admit the Cell 3 Cauterizer is not the best weapon in the game. It's very fun. It's something we've never really seen before in a lot of Call of Duties, an energy-based shotgun that's fully automatic. It's definitely not fully auto like the AA-12. It shoots a little bit slower like that. If you guys know the AA-12 from Modern Warfare 2, you know that sometimes it's really good if you're up close and you've got like grip and extended mags. But other than that, if you're not up close, if you're at a range trying to run around and like TDM or something like that, you're going to get destroyed because you run through those bullets so fast. That's why I think another big advantage of the Cell 3 shotgun is that you actually have a larger magazine. You can some, most of the time you'll get a one hit kill, but definitely, you definitely get hit markers. But most of the time, if you have good aim, if you're ADSing, if you've got decent attachments, you will get one hit kills in this game. So I would suggest you guys again, ADS, play a game like Hardpoint or Momentum. I really want you guys to do well with this. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't think I said it at the beginning of the video, this is actually a DNA bomb gameplay, which is a 30 gun streak. Most of you guys probably know that by now in Advanced Warfare, which is really hard to do with the Cell 3. Everybody, right when this gun came out, uh, they were really struggling to do well with this gun. Even myself picking it up every, every now and then, I would struggle to do well with it. You know, I could definitely get a few kills here and there with it, but I was not doing the best. Things like the AK-47 and the M16 are a lot easier to get DNA bombs with. Even, even the STG or the AE-4 or the OM previously released DLC supply drop weapons, they're good, but th this this gun was a challenge again. It's always hard to get a DNA bomb or a decently good gameplay with a shotgun, but it's always fun. You know, it's going to bring something new to Call of Duty. It's going to bring something awesome to Advanced Warfare. And I'm, huge, I'm giving a huge shout out right now to Sledgehammer for doing this. I think it's such a good idea to really put in so many new weapons. It definitely keeps Advanced Warfare constantly feeling fresh, makes me want to go out. And, you know, I'm saying this from sort of a business standpoint, not really that you should go and do this, but it makes me want to go out and buy their supply drops, which, of course, in return makes them more money, which I think is a really good idea to promote this and make it so you can only get these guns and supply drops may not be what every viewer wants i'm sure every viewer wants to pay zero dollars wants to get the game for free and wants to just have every gun and every single variant of elite stuff in it for them so <laughs> that, that's obviously from a viewer standpoint but i do think that sledgehammer monetarily and in a business wise thought 
this is a really good idea. So I do want you guys to please try out the Cell 3 if you get the chance. It definitely brings a new life to Advanced Warfare and makes you play a little bit a little bit better. You can see right there he actually didn't go all the way in because he knew those people were actually going to be able to destroy him because he does have a shotgun against so you. got to be up close. So you waited for them. Very, very smart plays are being made by Swag right now. So I would suggest you guys again to check out his channel. Link to it down in the description below. Again, 200 likes is a goal for this video. This is a sweet gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did make it f this far into the video, I want you to go ahead and comment Comment down below the word shotgun. That's how I know you guys made it this far. So I hope you guys did stay and enjoy the whole video. It's been Quad MFT. Don't forget to leave a like rating on this video. Again, 200 likes is the goal. Is the goal. We're working our way up to 70,000 subscribers. Doing pretty well. There's the DNA bomb, ladies and gentlemen. It's been Quad MFT. I love you guys. Please try out the Cell 3. It's actually so much fun. It's been Quad MFT, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.